couple of local kids and, and stuff. Uh, just to get it started, Mark, I mean, this is the second day. How, how you think it went uh, today? It went good. We had some good weather today. You know, everybody, we're just starting right now, but they got a couple new guys, but everybody's adapting to it. I mean, we experienced the offense before, so we're just progressing on it, getting a little better at each thing we do. Yeah, it looks like the speed is really pretty picked up. Yes, sir. Yeah, getting yeah. better. Tell me about yourself. I know you've been banged up a little bit, coming off a little knee surgery. Tell me how you, how you feel you're doing right yes, now. Yes, sir. I'm doing good. Um, I came a long way. I, I injured it about in the middle of the season last year, and I finished out. I, had to, um, I was limited to do some things, but I got the surgery in um, December, and I'm pretty much back at full now, So and it's doing good. Coming yeah, well. yeah. I mean, tight end-wise, I mean, you're, you're pretty deep, uh, you know, ability-wise. How, how's that battle shaping up? It's fun, you know. We got competition, you know. Everybody, some people got better at their own strengths, you know. We got some people that can receive better, block better. Yeah. And so it's fun with the competition. We're all battling it out. What about you? You a blocker? You seem more like a blocker, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, more of a blocker, trying to adapt <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, how, how's the pass catching coming for you, man? It's coming pretty good, you know. Just got to keep working at it and I'll eventually get it. Yeah. It's an important camp for you, huh? Kind of kind of want to make, make a little wave there on, yes, sir. on the depth chart and stuff? Yeah. yeah tell me about that, how, your anticipation for that. You know, I'm going to just keep trying, do whatever I got to do, and keep working on my pass game and keep making my blocking game better. And hopefully I'll get somewhere and that'll be fun. All right, bro. Second day at camp, just tell me how you think things are going so far. Things are going great right now. We put in a few different schemes for the O-line. We're down in numbers, but we're really getting after it. We got a new coaching coach, Jabriel. He was our uh, offensive GA, offensive line GA for uh, the past two years. But he's doing a great job filling in as a uh, head offensive line coach, so yeah. we're really getting after it right now. Yeah, I know last year it was it was it was rough for y'all, but it also was an unusual situation. I think most of y'all met each other for the first time in August, and about week two y'all on the field trying to play, you know, trying to gel as a line. How, how much struggle was that last season for y'all? It was it was somewhat of a struggle, but we're really if injuries wouldn't have hit us so hard last year, we would have been solid up front. I mean, we had we had to throw in some freshmen, me included, as a starter last year, and you know it's hard to win with freshmen on, on your offensive line, which one of the most important places, uh, important important positions on the field. Yeah. You know. Now y'all together going through the spring. I mean, is, you can feel sense a difference the way y'all working now. Definitely, it's a, it's only six of us right now. Well, we have seven, but six of us are practicing right now. We're. Uh, we're all best buds, you know, so it's there's a sense of, you know, togetherness because we, we're all going through it. You know, we're getting the maximum amount of reps, getting more reps than anybody on the team right now. So we just we out there for the long haul. Yeah, and you and Mark, I saw you and Mark working together, a couple of Tarvins, got some more Tarvins coming this way. So a little solid Fushi influence is always good. Hopefully y'all can make some impressions there. Huh? Definitely. We have uh, Gary Bruce coming in, and we also have a defensive lineman from Central LaFouche, so. Well, uh, we'll introdu uh, introduce them to all the guys. You know, I know them well, and uh, hopefully Gary will uh, Gary will be the right fit for us. You know, come in here and compete for a spot of uh, play time. You know, as a freshman. All right, Reef. And, and, and Mark, and they're progressing with you in this program. Well, I, you know, first of all, I'm excited, excited, very excited to recruit, you know, the South Lafouche area. And, uh, you know, and I know that uh, those kind of kids down there brings us really a great work ethic and toughness. And so they're both making very good progress, especially initially was Rafe, you know, uh, coming in here and basically starting as a freshman the majority of the season. And, and again, he was raw in many things, but he showed promise all throughout the season. And now he's showing a lot of leadership, even as a young guy. Mark, unfortunately, has been a little nicked up with injuries his first two years, so he's played a limited role. But I think he's more healthy now after his knee surgery, and he's moving around and doing some good things. And then we added that by signing two more young kids from that area. So, again, what we wanted to do there is just to get a nice, hopefully a pipeline going where we can have great kids from there. And then along with those guys playing well, then, of course, more support, you know, more more people familiar with our program and our kids, and they come out and watch us play. Just come in on the second day. Uh, how, how you think things went? Good. I mean, it's a little warmer today. There's no yeah. question, and we're, we're pacing our guys through. But I feel very good. I mean, the morale's real good. Now tomorrow we get to move it up a notch when we put on shoulder pads too. So then we can get around and do a little bit what we call thud, which allows them to be just a little bit more aggressive and go from there. But this has been a kind of a, a challenging stretch because we didn't we wanted to kind of space them out, but now this will be three practices right in a row. So it is a challenge this time of year. 
year. But if we can get good weather next week, we'll be able to stagger it properly. Then that allows us in between practices to regroup, watch more video of our practices, and then uh, give them a little bit of rest. Because right now I'm just really, uh, even with the quarterbacks, right. I'm limiting the, their throws because, again, it's I, I don't have many. And I don't want to move LaQuentin out of the receiver slot right now just so I can have a more uh, another arm available. So I've got to monitor all that. But so far I think we're pacing pretty good. All right, cool. Thank you.